Camera is wonky, it doesn't mount solid, so it's always trying to get it level is interesting. Yeah. You will be physically capable, you'll be fine. There's nothing no, you I can't do. It is a different format, though, yeah. just so you know. Have you done any exercise in Ricard yet? I've done several of his classes, yes. <laughs> Easy ones. Oh, this this is easy. It's just yeah. <laughs> you don't I do a class that's just um, online only. Oh my gosh. I gotta start that over. And it's equally as tough as this, but it's different. It's still only body weight because I started teaching this from home for, you know, four people from home who knows what they have for equipment. So it was, um, but it's also tough. Wayne is a chicken that won't take it on Thursdays. Or Tuesdays. Oh, Wayne. Hey. You're a big chicken. You won't take Wayne. Yeah. Tuesday class. Oh, no. Don't lay an egg on me. Would you mind sliding those shut? Ron did distract me that we talk about my kids. Hi guys, how's everybody? Oh, I'm back. What was that? I need to see you up. Yeah, he's an animal. Happy Thursday. Welcome to the bottom of Thursday. Waiting on cricket on that one too. That makes a cricket. Oh well, we're going to be perfect today, just like our sense of humor. Let's go ahead and start warming up. Let's get into our dynamic stretches. Let's pull those shoulders back and down. Well, I'm not new to one of my classes, but new to Tabata Thursday, we do have another guest today besides Wayne Wonder. Ron is going to choose to stay off camera, though. Again, mostly just not to make Wayne and I go back, is why she stays off camera. Uh, if we try to keep up with Rhonda, we'd probably just follow over with you. Let's go left to right. Hi, Lynn. Hi, Billy. Hi, Kim. My kid. Jerry, was it good? Did you have some? Up and down. Jerry, Kim may or may not have gotten the rope this hour. I don't think you this one. May or may not. Probably since he's young. I thought he was saying he was young enough because he was looking at you. Hands up, listen to that. Pull those arms in, bend those hips down. Well, if you are joining us from a different trilogy <laughs> property, hi, how are you guys? Here in our Pacific Northwest, it is absolutely gorgeous fall day today. The temperature was winter day, but it's too cold. It's very cold today. It's going to get very cold tomorrow on Saturday, like mid 20s. This week, this and wrist circles. But all the leaves are in color, and the sky is in blue. It's a beautiful day. It's just a cold day. Let's 
I want to thank everybody for always joining us for working out too. Switch directions, and I want to thank those of you who send emails. Uh, those do get forwarded to me from Jason or Brittany. It's much appreciated. Thank you for the kind words. We're happy to offer you something in these crazy times to keep you active and fit and healthy. Comes up, speak those words to face, through, and out. My sourdough, Jerry, is a healing bread that makes you stronger and feel better. I am strengthening you and your diet. <clears throat> Those of you watching, I think I've mentioned it all week. I will be, yes, the Army Fitness Guy at an Guy. I will be teaching a sourdough bread class in November. So look for that on MTL coming up. Pinch those shoulder blades and round them out. Is that an engineer class? Yeah. It should be. That's about a thing that. No, 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 it's not. Of course, we just came up with it. Yeah. So it's good. Are you watching, Ricky? Really? Mason? When he wants that class up on the schedule. No, he wants it. Like she said, enough that she needs to make more bread. Arms out. Up and down. Are you asking this Wayne girl here? Yes, so. What? See Jerry's question out there? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Jerry, you're beyond help. <laughs> the air is real thin up there, Jerry. <laughs> Jerry is a resident. He's online right now. He's a resident. Too. He's even taller than me. Well, so, how yeah. is he typing messages if he's exercising? He's not. He's <laughs> typing messages. His wife's going to pass out. Take that right arm up and over here. Jerry does take classes and he says, this is Excellent. Let's switch arms. Roll that shoulder joint. Do you know what I really found when I talk? What's that? Nothing. I don't know how to play it. You know that. Somebody can feel that. I did not. I own several. Big arm circles. So we have two different live feeds. The feed on the iPad is going to all the trilogies. Yes. And the feed up there is on this That feed, I can see when people have questions, comments, or statements. This feed only uh, the moderator, so Jason can see. Switch directions. <clears throat> I do not want to square, scare you all, I swear. I don't want to square you all. <laughs> Good, relax those arms, move straight out, don't square you down, small circles. But we still have two more Tabatas in the squats over. This and next week. And if you remember how we started squats over at the beginning of the month, switch directions, we're going to finish very much like that. But today we will dedicate a few exercises to our continued pursuit of the squat. And down, let's rotate those shoulders or hips. Help me right now. Help me. <laughs> Help me. Yeah. Hands on hips. Hips are
Did you feel that yesterday? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Unfortunately, even though you did such a person just for the next hour. Distractions! I did it to torture myself, actually. I did one of them. He was in the thing itself to something I don't want to do. You just get the joint. You can modify them on the bench to get them. Use the bench and feel them. You should use that. Good guys. <laughs> so, push those hips back, reach those hands towards the floor with those hamstrings. Walk forward. And drop those hips into the floor, pulling those shoulder blades back, chest up, stretching the next time you can go knees up. This will be good for you today, as soon as we do. This stretch season. Gets more into the low stuff that we don't do when you're in the other class this week, but just the other class stuff you've done. Let's pick those hips up, and you're going to take one foot, step to the outside of the hand. And sink those hips down again. You can even touch the knee down if you want. You don't have to touch it. The back leg is bent. You want to drop them to the inside of the hand. And then from there, push the knee away from you. Mm -hmm. So you feel that stretch. If you're ever looking for extra, you take the inside hand then and you drop it down to that area that stretches it. Okay. Wings not either. <laughs> Don't forget to tell me to start my watch today. Watch. Good, we're going to pick those hips up and we take that leg that's up by our hand. <laughs> And then sit back into that hip. Yeah, it's not a pigeon. It is a pigeon, you're right. Do you know what the one before that was? Uh, I don't remember. It's a frog. It's a frog. Oh, the one that was the back to the sun. So we go from uh, cobra to frog. Which I'm not a really at all, I don't do, but I know. I haven't seen the slides, all the stretches are trying to go. Let's bring that foot out, we're going to switch sides, step that leg up to the outside of the hand, drop the hip down in. Good, bring that leg to the middle now. And sit back in the hips. Ashley called it last night. The face time she said today was 100% chance of snow. 100%. I was like, they already have a day or two. Yeah. But I guess that's early. I, I assume that was normal. They're like a month earlier. Yeah. Yeah. Good, just bring that leg back up straight. Walk those feet up. Push back into those heels. And bring those hips under and stand up. Well, hopefully your stretch, loose, mildly warm. 
who's we're getting ready to survive. And so as always, we start with a cardio round. I'm going to start with a timer here in a sec. Follow along. Remember, cardio is your version of cardio. Jumping jacks, jogging in place, off the ground. Whatever it is you want to do, the air jump well. We're just going to get that heart rate muscle to pull the quad around. And give us the rest of the workout. So I'm going to start the timer. You guys give yourself a little space. I have needed so many devices to run class. That's our warning bell. There's always a 10 second warning bell. And then this next round will be our start round again. We'll probably be doing sometimes the same thing, sometimes different. We're just trying to do what you're capable of and what you're capable of. It's just a matter of first thing. By the pure definition of Tabata, your 20 second round should be at 100% effort. But that's when you build yourself up. Don't worry about that now, but just understand that you want to be tired, you want to put your heart in the back, and get there eventually. Some of these exercises are going to hit huge muscle groups and they'll wear out. Some of these small ones, and they'll wear out, and maybe not wear out until they get there. And that's okay I'll lose the 20 second burst, 10 seconds off. Can you stop trying to get harder? Don't trust me to count for me. And I lose what I'm going to love every time. So, for your next round, if you don't already have one, 
you're going to need a bench or a chair, something you're going to be able to plant your tushy on. And because this squat's over, we're going to do touch squats. So that means we don't get to use our platform to actually sit on it. You're going to go down just so you touch it and come back up again. Again, remember, everything's everybody's level. If you need to sit fully before you come back up, because that's the level you're at, then do so. Otherwise, we're trying to keep constant tension on the quads and glutes, keep the weight going through your heels, keep your back and spine straight. That's a 10 second bell. It's the highest I can be in yours, but so it's not. So I'm not actually touching the chair, so I'm actually touching the chair. Well, you touch it. You feel your left touch it. You can probably scoot forward a little bit. The back of your legs is hitting the forward. You can actually touch it. Again, if you need to modify it down, just do a normal chair stand. If you want to modify it up, you can touch and jump. Ron has been jumping this whole time. Again, not wanting to show off. This is really hard for me. Now. Okay. So I've explained it a couple of times, Johnny, but this was a form of training established by, funny enough, Dr. Tabata. And he was training Olympic speed skaters in Japan. And he used this method, pushing in these high intensity intervals. On exercises to get ready. Remember, as you get tired, still drop down with those hips and your flat feet. Don't roll forward to the balls of your feet. <coughs> Keep those heels on the ground. So we maximize using our glutes and the upper portion of our quads. <laughs> Wayne and I are going on like five straight months of doing Tabata together. So we're a little bit used to the pain. It's okay if it burns. And as I told you, I have no idea what round you are. It doesn't fit. You know, we will do eight rounds. It may seem like sometimes we're doing more. Like all 
that to make everything look easy, it looks like it's awesome. He's got every exercise is. And usually the less awesome the exercise means we probably need it a little bit more. That's why it's harder. We don't do it enough, but we don't get those muscles enough. This is my least favorite exercise of today. And we do do this every two weeks. And so it is this week that we must do it. And that's our push up round. So remember, any push up is a push up. The idea is to keep doing good push ups. So if you start on your toes and you drop to your knees, that's fine. If you use your platform, that's fine. Get those complete push ups in, not those little pumps. That's our time. Remember to rest those hands in between rounds. We have seven more to go right now to get those wrists to break. Hopefully, you've been doing some lives with us for a while. You're setting goals. How many of you try to get in these per round? How many rounds you do before you modify it down to the next level? I do keep counting on this one because I just like it so much on that. Unfortunately, I was only three. Three to go. Oh, I'm jello already. The seven, one left. You got this, Rhonda? Yep. Yourself. 
It'll make it harder, it'll get stronger. So, because I'm generally a pretty nice guy, I'm going to beat you up. We get to stay down for the next round on our back, on our mats, or the carpet, or whatever you're on. So you got about 40 seconds, you need a sip of water, grab it. We're going to transition now to some abdominal floor work. We're going to do a leg lower to a hip lift to the ceiling. Leg lower, hip lift. So either brace your low back or arms out of the side. So bottom round in three, two, leg lower, hip lift. Remember, you do not want to feel this in your low back. If you are, don't bring your leg down as low. The roll out of your low back to arch. Take a press. Keep it in your core. No hip lift over your chest. Keep those feet right over your hips. Pretend you're trying to touch your toe straight up to the ceiling, not over your head. Strong. Your stomach starts to give out. Modify. Maybe you just do the hip lifts. Maybe you only do the leg lowers. Or maybe you're just completely done there. And you need a chance to do a regular crunch. Take that muscle of failure and transition if you need to. Don't push fast. Keep your body safe. We've got a couple left. Back to the top to a cardio round. 
So I get my heart rate back up to some kind of cardio. You guys to see I finished ahead away and I won that race. It was way back there. Let's catch it up, folks. It's like a neck and neck. He pulls it out. Anyways, grab some water.
my watch just said my exercise plan is closed. Does that mean I can be done? You guys don't finish off? No. I hope the new iWatch is a lot better than the last one as far as accuracy and drive. <laughs> So, we're on round six. We're going to do alternating lunges. And I'm okay whether you do step back and alternate or you step forward as long as you're doing your best lunge. A lead leg with a seven forward or the lead leg with a step back. Drop through that hip. You don't put your weight backwards. Keep it forward over the leg. Alternating lunges. After the lunges, and they're great, I'm not a great burn that we're going to get. I'll be introducing you guys to a new exercise. Think a way to modify your doctor kits. Don't be scared. You can do them, but if you can't, I'll give you an alternate. I almost want to do donkey kicks because Ron has never done them with us. I'm not sure I did that. Jesus. No donkey kicks. Just. We did them on Tuesday, so I wouldn't do that. We did them on Tuesday. Yeah. 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 Don't you feel like your mind is solid? What are you doing to increase the intensity? Are you trying to go a little quicker? Are you trying to go a little deeper? How are you making these fatiguing lunge that you're going to benefit from by the end of this bottle? Yeah, I'm on 47 right now. 
Okay, guys. New exercise. I'm going to use the bench. I did this just to myself closing out my cardio around a couple weeks back. Well, we're going to hop side to side. You don't need a bench to do this on the ground, but it's both feet moving at once. I'm going to use the bench as my deck. I'm going to hop back and forth for the round. If you're scared of tripping, hop without an obstacle. But you definitely want to get outside of each level. That's our 10 second belt. Mountain climbers? Mountain climbers? Oh! Lane says this is last round.
And then I raised my heart rate the whole 10 beats. She was like 100. Catch your breath. Drink some water. Do it at a point. At least breathing well above that bridge. Come on, guys. Gotta push through this. You don't need to kill yourself. It's the benefit in this. Can I get that heart rate up? Chant the lungs, the heart, and the muscles today. The last round, and yes, I said it, the last round will be on our back on that skin. I tickled the idea of doing the ninth round, and I won't. On your back, bicycle crunches, go! Seven. Seven to finish, guys. Not the round. The whole workout. Six to go. On the back half. Three left. Something else, where you can just crunch it up and hold your ground from the face of that tree for the whole round. Don't stop moving the muscles. We only have one more round after this. That means only 20 more seconds every day, guys. Dedicated to a push. Change it up. Burn it out. Here we go. Yeah! 
I know I'll see you guys this weekend, next week. I'm not scaring you off. I'm just giving you time to pump yourself up. Next Thursday, it's our final spot to over workout. It's Vada. So big, big leg push that day. Lots of squat variations, like we did week one of squats over. I know you did awesome. I appreciate you joining us. From all the show genes, and Facebook Live, you guys are awesome. From Rhonda, and Wayne, and Todd, keep on moving. We appreciate you. Bye-bye.